In the expansive waters of Lake Superior, a team of researchers utilizes cutting-edge technology to unveil secrets and solve mysteries spanning centuries. During one expedition, their cameras, equipped with side-skin sonar, make a remarkable discovery hundreds of feet beneath the icy surface, leading to unforeseen revelations. The Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society, GLSHS, based in Salt Stay, Murray, Michigan, has long been dedicated to exploring Lake Superior's depths, hoping to unearth relics from the region's tumultuous past. In the summer of 2021, armed with sonar technology, the GLSHS embarked on a successful survey, capturing the attention of experts and historians alike. Approximately 35 miles from the Michigan shore, the researchers encountered an unknown object around 650 feet below the surface. The anomaly prompted the team to return for a closer investigation. Using a remote-operated vehicle, ROV, they captured footage that revealed an eerie ghost ship emerging from the past. As the camera passed by the mysterious object, its true identity became apparent. Through distinctive features like the bow, anchor, and half-buried wheel, the ship's identity was confirmed as the Atlanta. The GLSHS researchers, well-versed in uncovering the mysteries of the Great Lakes, were able to identify the ship relatively quickly. The Atlanta's story is part of the larger narrative of the Great Lakes, where treacherous conditions led to the loss of thousands of ships since the mid-19th century. While many wrecks remain undiscovered, the GLSHS conducts regular surveys to shed light on the region's history. Preservation conditions in Lake Superior, with its cold temperatures and minimal impact from invasive species like zebra mussels, contribute to the remarkable preservation of shipwrecks like the Atlanta. However, researchers, recognizing these underwater sites as akin to grave sites, approach their discoveries with respect, refraining from disturbing the wrecks. The discovery of the Atlanta adds another layer to the stories of shipwrecks in Lake Superior, a region where maritime tragedies have left lasting imprints. The researchers, buoyed by their success in locating numerous wrecks during the 2021 season, continue their work with a mix of curiosity and reverence for the historical significance concealed in the depths of the Great Lakes. Over 130 years ago, the Atlanta, despite its current pristine condition, met a tragic fate beneath the waters. Departing from Buffalo, New York in 1891, the 172-foot schooner barge was en route to Duluth, Minnesota, laden with a cargo of coal. Unlike its own steam, the Atlanta sailed with its sails down, towed by the steamer Wilhelm across the Great Lakes. Initially, the journey progressed smoothly, traversing Lake Erie and advancing into Lake Huron. As the vessels neared their final destination in Lake Superior, a disaster struck on the evening of May 3 near Michigan's White Fish Point, coincidentally close to the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum. The weather turned severe, testing the capabilities of the Wilhelm in towing the Atlanta through increasingly hazardous conditions. The connecting line between the two vessels snapped, and the United States Life Saving Service's annual report from June 1891 revealed the ensuing struggle. The crew of the Atlanta attempted to raise their sail, but the boom shattered, leaving the vessel adrift in tumultuous waters and fierce winds. For the next 20 minutes, the crew battled to control the drifting ship as it trolled amid the gale's full force. As water leaked into the vessel, the situation worsened, making it increasingly difficult for the crew. Despite their efforts to man the pumps throughout the night, the Atlanta became uncontrollable, swaying from side to side in the relentless waves. By 11 o'clock a.m. the next morning, the inevitable decision to abandon the Atlanta was made. With the hold submerged under 10 feet of water, sinking was imminent. The crew, consisting of six men and one female cook, boarded the lifeboat and set out for land. Just 10 minutes later, the Atlanta sank beneath the surface of Lake Superior. As the lifeboat drifted in the wind, the crew spotted the Crisp Point life-saving station in the distance. Their captain aimed for safer landing conditions at Whitefish Bay, but the crew outvoted him. This decision proved tragic as the lifeboat overturned near Crisp Point, plunging its occupants into the freezing water. Despite efforts to right the vessel, 
it flipped once more, leaving only two survivors clinging to the battered boat. Finally, a lookout on shore noticed the distress, initially mistaking it for a floating tree, log, or rue in the lake. Despite a prompt rescue mission, it was too late to save the crew members who had been swept away. In the end, only two, Eli Waite and John Pickle, managed to make it back to shore alive. Even then, their survival was touch and go. According to the United States Life Saving Service report, both men were in such dire condition that it took several hours of relentless effort before they were out of danger. Days later, Eli Waite expressed his gratitude to the rescuers for their brave intervention in a letter. Until the discovery of the Atlanta at the bottom of Lake Superior, this poignant letter was the sole surviving relic connected to the lost ship. Waite's letter certified his rescue at the point of death by Captain Small of the Crisp Point Station. The letter highlighted the perilous conditions in the lake and assured the rescuers that nothing more could have been done to save those already in the water. John Pickle added his signature, aligning with Waite's account of the events. The tragic end of the Atlanta unfolded as it sank to the bottom of Lake Superior, while its crew perished within sight of land. Thanks to the diligent work of the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society, GLSHS, the ship's story can now be told. The sinking, documented at the time, has been thrust into the spotlight once more, resulting in unexpected discoveries. In a video uploaded to the GLSHS YouTube channel on March 2, 2022, the ROV approached the wreck of the Atlanta for the first time. The eerie scene, with intact covers for the ship's hatches and a discarded toilet as a sinister reminder, transported viewers back to that terrifying night 130 years ago. The video revealed that the Atlanta's three masts were missing, confirming eyewitness accounts that each sail had been destroyed by the storm. The GLSHS plans to leave the wreck undisturbed as legislation in Michigan prohibits attempts to raise shipwrecks from the Great Lakes. Corey Atkins, associated with the Historical Society, stated that the Atlanta's location will not be disclosed as a precaution. While shipwreck enthusiasts may not have direct access to the site, the discovery of the Atlanta underscores that the Great Lakes shipwrecks continue to be found. The GLSHS, with plans for an exhibition dedicated to the Atlanta ensures that the story of weight, pickle, and those who lost their lives will receive the attention it deserves. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.